I'm at 5036 Northeast 25th Avenue. Um, this is Alberta down there. Uh, it does look like they're gonna be doing some development on the corner there, most likely uh, commercial downstairs and then five stories of either condos or um, apartments. Here is the street. It's a nice street, lots of bungalows. Here is the front of the house. So it has newer paint. Um, roof needs a cleaning. Um, from up here, it's hard for me to see the granules on the shingles, but it's laying pretty flat. And then you've got basically kind of a shared driveway, although it's big enough that you could leave a car parked on this side. Foundation has been skim coated. There is, you'll see this entrance that leads to the stairway for the basement. And then you basically have this two car garage with this yard, new fence. Um, here's a view of the house next door and then the back of it. The garage is locked. Let me see if I can. So it's a pretty old garage um, that opens onto an alley. There's lots of alleys in Northeast. Uh, so that could, it's got some windows and stuff, but it could certainly use some love. It is by no means an airtight garage. This does look like a newer garage door though. And the alley is pretty overgrown with uh, blackberry bushes. Yeah, actually people have really planted this alley. So you are not using this alley. It is really overgrown. So you're missing a fence right here. Um, but again, th this other part of the yard is fenced in. Here, as you can see the roof, again, the moss shingles are laying flat. Um, that's the furnace chimney. Looks like it's had some tuck pointing. It could use some moss cleaning on it. So good location in regards to walkability. Door. There is kind of a wall right in front of us. They've put a pretty narrow table down. And then we've got the living room. Bear with me a sec, I need to put on my booties. We've got a uh, oak floor throughout and they look like they're in decent shape. There's a little built-in over here. We've got single pane original windows, so not very energy efficient. And then they're using a little bit of this space for the dining room. Ceilings are high and we've got picture railing. There is a bedroom right off of the front door. Um, and then it actually has this door that goes into the other bedroom. If it were me, I would probably close this door so they're separate um, versus being able to walk through. Closet, actually a pretty deep closet for one of these old homes. Uh, this looks like a newer double pane. Uh, it looks like a wood clad window. So back through the living room to the kitchen, which has kind of a slate tile floor. Looks like a quartz countertop, subway backsplash, original cabinets. They have added the dishwasher. So these are gonna be, you know, sticky and old cabinets too. Original window. 
um, refrigerator, and then a range kind of tucked in the corner with no vent and um, nothing next to it uh, to put plates and stuff on. Here's some kind of original cabinets that would work as a pantry, but this kitchen could definitely handle some love and a reconfiguration so the range is not by its lonesome over there and you know opening this up this is where the range used to be uh, to use that space and then this was the door that we saw to the backyard so some steps down to a nice fence backyard a lot more moss on the um, garage roof And then there is like a little spice rack next to the range, but of course we can't open it because of the range. It is an electric range, even though there is a gas furnace uh, in the unfinished basement, so it would not be hard to run a gas line. So let me step back so you can kind of see what you've got to work with here. So then there's a hallway off of the kitchen. To the left is a linen closet little bench with a window overlooking the backyard and then here is the one bathroom um they've remodeled it with period tile subway surround it's a tub shower combination pedestal sink medicine cabinet high ceilings in here Original window, the sash is broken, so there's a chance this may not open, and I don't, oh, actually there is, there's a fan above the shower, which is connected to the light switch, and there's one outlet in here, and then toilet over here. So then, in this hallway, and the hallway's a little awkward, lots of doors, um, but we're gonna have Stairway to go up, stairway to go to the basement, and then this is that other bedroom that I was showing you through the first bedroom. Here we've now transitioned to fur floors. In that bedroom it had fur floors too, and in the hallway we have fur floors. And this is the doorway that I would close off just to separate these. Here's the closet in here basically about the same size as the other ones, does have some built-in drawers. And the floors look like they're in good condition. Um, we've got a cold air return here that they're also running some low voltage wiring through. And then really your bed option is going to be this wall. Otherwise you're gonna have to have pretty small nightstands on these other walls, but nice high ceilings. So next I'm gonna go upstairs. We've got fur treads. There is a cabinet. Um, basically they've just run the duct work up the cabinet. So that uh, chimney that we saw, that used to be the furnace exhaust chimney. And I'm thinking that they're now just using it for the duct work. So we get to the top here. We've got kind of low ceilings right here. In front of us is just access to a storage space and um, they've put some wood down and stuff. We can see the sheathing under the roof, shingles, so luggage, that sort of thing. Now I will say the bedrooms up here are pretty small. So here's bedroom number one. They've got it staged as a kid's bedroom. Um, ceiling height, I would say, actually, hold on, I've got my laser measure. Ceiling height is 510. That seems wrong. Oh, it's because I'm hitting the bed. Sorry. Ceiling height is 69. And then closet. So again, pretty small room, uh, newer double pane wood clad window, 
neighbors certainly need to clean their roof and you are looking at kind of their garbage cans and stuff like that. It would be nice to have a bottom up blind. And then bedroom number two is probably about the same size, maybe slightly bigger. They have it staged as a yoga studio. You could fit a queen size bed over here. Again, not huge nightstands, but yeah, this room, this room's definitely a little bit bigger. Here's your view out this window. Um, again, bottom up lines would be nice. Looks like people in this neighborhood really need to clean their roofs off. And then here's this closet. We do have the ductwork in here, which is going to limit some of your closet space. And then downstairs. And these are steep, but they're not crazy steep. Um, and the treads aren't too narrow. I'm not having the penguin feet it. So here's down to the basement. That was that door we saw from the driveway. Nice wide basement. Um, it's not a full basement, it's a partial basement. And then we do have some bigger steps down here. If you are going to ever finish this, the problem is, is that this header to the bottom stair is not tall enough. So you need to reconfigure the stairway. Um, so you have more head height here. So here is the unfinished part of the basement. We've got original galvanized plumbing, um, original windows, so you can see we've had some leaking in here. They skim coated the outside, but they did not skim coat the inside. It does smell dry. We do have, they've done some um, underground plumbing because that is a newer plumbing cap. The base of this, um, is new yet we've got an original cast iron uh that's the bathroom up above and then we do have some newer plumbing here we've got some pex plumbing tied in with the original galvanized and the furnace i don't know if i can the furnace is in this crawl space area but i tried to get this door off before and it's um a little precarious um, we've got a radon mitigation system. Radon is a pretty common um, naturally occurring gas in the Willamette Valley, so we always test for that. We do have high ceilings down here. We've also now got some uh, copper plumbing. We've got an electric water heater. And you know what I have not seen is the electric panel. Um, oh, here it is. So we've got a 100 amp panel with um, lots of space on it. Let me see. Yeah, I, I just can't see the furnace from here, but basically again, half crawl space, half, um, half uh, basement and not a real finishable basement because of the stair height and having to duck for this header. So nice house, good location, kitchen needs updating, rooms are kind of small, four bedroom with one bathroom, um, nice yard, garage could use some love. Uh, priced at five seventy, my guess is that it will go for a lot of it's because of the location. My guess is that it will go for maybe six forty ish. Uh, 